In .NET 8, we were given some new data annotation options for validating our properties. Let's look at these new options and how to use them in this 10 minute training video. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's jump right into the code. And I've set up for us a very simple model with four properties in it. And we're gonna look at how to use these new validations. First off, and I set up the um, a using directive as well, or we will set up using directive. So we're going to say using system.componentmodel.data annotations. All right, so now we have our using directive up here. We can start adding annotations. We've, we're familiar with things like required. So this would make the first name field required, but there are new ones to be added. Let's start with the, our string for first name. We're going to say length, and we can set two values here, five and 25. And that will now be the minimum and maximum length for our string. So we don't have to set one value and then say, okay, now minimum length is this or, or maximum length is this. We can just say length and give it two values and have it give us a range like that. That's the first new property or new annotation. The next one is a modification on an existing one. So we have evaluation scores and these evaluation scores should probably be from one to five, right? So we're gonna say range and we'll say one to five. Well, this, is, this has been there for a while, but we now get to set, specify two op options, minimum exclusive equals, we'll start with false and maximum exclusive equals false. So do we exclude the top value or the bottom value in our range? By default, no. But with minimum exclusive, we can set this value to be true. And the maximum value, again, you don't have to set both, you can set just one, but we're gonna say true on this as well. And now our range is actually from two to four, which, we could say, you know, zero to, to six. And that would now be the range is one to five because it's exclusive, meaning we don't, we exclude the bottom value, we exclude the top value. Or if we just added one of these, it would, you know, if we just did this, well, that excludes zero. So it's one to six. So that is, I'll leave them both in here so you can see them both. And you can get a source code in the link in the description. But, this allows us to exclude values. Now, in this case, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but first of all, this is great for documenting. So you can know, are we excluding the top value? Are we excluding the bottom value? But also there are times when it makes more sense to have a specific value, but then say, yes, that's the top value, but we're excluding it. And so this just gives us a little bit more options. Next up, we have our favorite workday because of course that's something we have to capture. And so what we're gonna say is, I don't want just any workdays captured. So I'm gonna say allowed values. We get to specify allowed values. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Because it's only workdays, right? So favorite workday, and ho hopefully you're only working Monday through Friday, but you get to choose which one, but you only get to specify one of these. Now this is a string. So we get to put whatever we want in here in theory, except for the fact that now we're required to have one of these values. So this isn't always useful, but there are cases where maybe you might want this. And again, this might be better off as an enum, but maybe it's not coming in from something the user provided. And that's what these these new annotations allow for is not just user input, but maybe non-user input. Maybe you're getting this data from a CSV file. This could say these are the allowed values. So if something else is happening, say that that's an invalid model. Okay. So this is not just for user entry, but also for uh, non-human entry, like a CSV file import or something like that. Now, favorite boss. There may be times when we don't want to allow a few values. 
So we can say denied values. And we can say things like none or lol. Okay, so you can't put those values now in for our favorite boss. So these are the new annotations, the, the length, the allowed values, the denied values, and then also these properties in the range value. These are the new ones that came out in .NET 8 that allow us a little bit more freedom, a little bit more flexibility on how we annotate our models and then how we work with potentially things that aren't always user input, but maybe input from other systems or applications.